everything i need to know i learned in the forest summary in english vandana shiva is one of the most outstanding environmental activists she is a versatile personality as she writes for magazines and newspapers regarding social issues the passage emphasizes on the author's realization on environment Her involvement in the Chipko movement was her first participation in ecology movements against the deforestation in the Himalayan region. The peasant women from Garhwal region got involved in the movement. They were very much aware about the effects of deforestation as it leads to floods and scarcity of food and water. They protested by hugging the trees when the loggers came to cut down the trees. She was much interested in the Chipko movement and decided to join the movement and conducted padyatras to document the deforestation and to awaken people to the importance of the Chipko movement. She has contributed a lot to the farmers on agricultural techniques at her Navdani farm to educate farmers with demos and training on organic farming. One such was diversity and they have conserved and grown 630 varieties of rice. 150 varieties of wheat and hundreds of other species. She also speaks of rights of nature on the global stage. On that basis, Ecuador has recognized the rights of nature in its constitution. In April 2011, the United Nations General Assembly organized harmony with nature as part of Earth Day celebrations. In that conference, the UN Secretary General pointed out ultimately, environmentally destructive behavior is the result of a failure to recognize that human beings are an inseparable part of nature and that we cannot damage it without severely damaging ourselves. She also speaks about eco-apartheid and how people exploit the earth by using it as the source of raw materials and source of mining minerals. She remembers Rabindranath Tagore's emphasis on nature, who started Shantiniketan to impart learning in nature. The Povan the Forest of Purity teaches us that forest is not only the knowledge of freedom but it was the source of beauty and joy and harmony and perfection.